Hi everyone. Very good morning. I am Srinivasa Python trainer from a uh, VCube software solution. So agenda of uh, today's meeting is, you know, what uh, is Python and why Python is popular nowadays uh, features of the Python and where Python can be used. And most importantly, how a uh, how we can learn Python easily. So it is like so we'll go one by one. So Python is general purpose high level and interpreted programming language which can be used to implement any kind of program. It means if you have a problem, you can implement or you can find the solution for that problem in the Python programming language. So and uh, uh, you can implement an object oriented program or you can implement an procedural oriented program or you can implement uh, any scripting kind of program also by using Python. So that is the reason we call it as general purpose programming language. And if you look at the Python code, it almost looks like English. And uh, uh, you can, a layman can easily understand uh, the code by looking at the code. So that is the reason we call it as high level programming language. So, and so why Python is popular uh, nowadays is, as we discussed earlier, it is easy. Anyone can easily understand Python code. And if you want to use Python to implement any uh, software, you can use that pro uh, programming language freely. You don't need to pay any license cost. As we discussed earlier, it can support both procedural oriented programming and object oriented programming. And Python is having uh, uh, so much library base. It means so many problems are already um, implemented in Python. If you know how to utilize them, that is enough. So it is like, uh, for example, if you take matplotlib, which is the uh, library available in Python, uh, you can use this library to uh, uh, create beautiful graphs based on the data you are having. So a kind of uh, visual visualizer representation, if you want to make from your data, you can do that easily by using matplotlib library. And so the features of the Python is like uh, it is easy to learn. Already we discussed it because uh, uh, there are no mandatory steps uh, in Python uh, uh, like other programming languages. You can directly uh, come to the point and you can implement the code and it is open source. So it means um, the code uh, of the Python programming language is available. And if you want to make some changes, you can uh, you can do some changes in the language itself. And it is importantly dynamically type of programming language. If you take any other language, if you want to declare a variable, you need to specify the type of that variable. But in Python, you don't need to specify the uh, type of the variable based on the value you are storing into it. The type of the variable will be decided. And so automatic memory management. Nowadays, we know that every real time application is dealing with very, very huge data. So when you are having a program which is dealing with the huge data, so if that program is capable of managing the uh, memory uh, uh, in an optimized manner or utilizing the memory in an uh, optimized manner, that, that will be, uh, that will be uh, uh, very useful, right? So Python is having automatic memory management um, system where, you know, uh, memory will be uh, uh, utilized in an optimized manner. I will give you one example. For example, if you take another uh, uh, any other language like C or C++ Java. So if you take two variables like int A and int B. So into those two variables, you store value at 10 uh, uh, into those two variables. It is like A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 10. Though you have stored the same value into two different variables. So uh, the Java will allocate two different memory locations as you are having two different variables. But if you do same thing in Python, as you are having same value in two different variables, only one memory location will be utilized. So this is how the automatic memory management will happen. And there is a concept of garbage collection, which will you know, uh, uh, release the memory uh, hold by uh, uh, the unused objects. So we'll discuss that uh, during the classes. And as I told you earlier, it is having very good library base. It means so much code is already developed uh, in Python and it is available as libraries and modules. If you know how to utilize that, that is enough. 
and python is interpreted programming language it means line by line the code will be executed i mean line by line the code will be converted into machine understandable language and then it will be executed so the main advantage here is you can you you can easily identify the uh, uh, bugs in your code uh, if you have any bugs in your code okay so and so where we can use the uh, python is as i uh, uh, as i told you earlier it is having very good you know our uh, optimized way of memory management right so nowadays every real time application is dealing with very very huge data so in that case uh, if you use python it uses the uh, available memory in an optimized way so that your program can uh, consume uh, less memory and you know python is one of the programming languages associated with emerging technologies like you know artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning and data science so why vq so that, that, that we till now we have seen um, you know, what is python and why python is so popular uh, like that now we see why vq so what is the uh, special thing we have with vq so that you can learn python easily so it is like we discuss each and every concept with their practical examples so here we are not going to teach you theory we teach you everything in a practical manner and uh, every day uh, we discuss the interview questions it is like from first day onwards our main concentration is on the interview it is like if you uh, if you uh, appear for the interview so what what would be the possible questions from the python and uh, how to answer those questions in a, uh, uh, a very good uh, um, manner and we will conduct some mock interviews and uh, we will we will uh, you know uh, try to understand where you are in uh, uh, python uh, knowledge and we will give you the feedback like you know uh, what you can do to improve yourself and how we can crack the interview easily so such kind of guidance we we give so and we provide you you know the useful references to learn the python easily and the sample resumes and we will help you to uh, prepare the resumes as well and if you join for full uh, full stack python course so we'll discuss uh, the html css javascript complete python and then django and the database along with these things uh, um, we discuss about github uh, which is used to uh, store your code in real time and you know we will make you do a real time project so i will give you one concept and i will uh, create a kind of real time environment where you know you discuss the uh, requirement and you finalize the requirement and you design the requirement and then you start developing it and if you have any doubt anyway i am there to uh, help you help you on uh, to uh, you know complete the task so and yeah finally that's it thank you